Let's point members, good morning. Today is another day that I'm very glad because of what the Lord has done in my life. And before I share what the Spirit of God has inspired me, let's pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus, we thank you, Lord, because of this opportunity you have given me with my brothers and sisters so that we can listen to your word that you have purposed for us today. In Jesus' name, I do pray and believe. Amen. So today, I would like to talk about the power of culture in our society. I know that most of us, uh, we come from different cultural background, and uh, some were born from Christian uh, background, some from non-Christian families. And uh, with me, uh, I come from a non-Christian family, and uh, I struggled a lot to change, to be transformed in my mind and my heart because of what I experienced in the life of non-believing background. I know that some of, uh, some of us also, you are being influenced by your parents because they, maybe you are born in a Christian family, and that is how you are today. Some uh, uh, Christians uh, maybe left the faith because of their behavior, the experience in, uh, in their families. And today, I would like to share a word with Paul uh, stated in the Bible, and he was sharing with the church of Corinth uh, that I have become all things to all people that by all means I might save some. I do it all for the sake of the gospel that I may share with them in its blessing. You see, Paul uh, was actually from a different cultural background, but he cut across. He was able to mingle with different cultures, and he knew that he was being driven by the gospel. So, and his main purpose was to share the message and ensure that he become all things to all people, that by all means, he might save someone. So even as in our communities, we live, from, we live with people from different backgrounds, and we need to know how can we administer the gospel to these different cultures? How can the, our culture shape us as, as a believer? So that when people see us, they see a living Christ. Have we been transformed in our minds, our hearts, which can be reflected by uh, our behavior, our character in place of work, marketplace? So this message today in the book of uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 19 to 23, really inspires us and is my desire that we adapt Paul's character so that we become uh, savers to others. We save others, and also we share the gospel with all people whom we live with. After there, may God bless you. See you next week. God bless you.